So in this episode, we're going to take a really quick look at the Valve Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch and the pros and the cons, the good and the bad on both of these systems. And um, let us know if you're going to get both, either, or none. It's up to you. Um, and if there's something we miss in the pros and cons, let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe there's just something I miss. I'm not trying to go over every single thing that's good and bad with these consoles. I'm just going over a few things. Just to so we're going to start with the pros for both systems, the Switch as well as the Steam Deck. But we'll start with the Steam Deck first. Um, one thing it's going to have, like I said, it's going to be really quick, a 7-inch touchscreen. Um, it's going to have, be a lot more powerful than the Switch. And it's going to have a built-in SSD storage. Um, three different versions, no performance differences aside from speed of the flash drive. That's really about it from what I understand. You'll be able to play all the uh, Steam library games. Uh, it will have Bluetooth. That's pretty cool. It'll have Bluetooth. Uh, it'll run all. It runs the modern games at a very good rate. That's that's something I thought was really cool. It's going to really quick to the Nintendo Switch. For the pros on it, it's going to be. Uh, of course, we know that Nintendo Switch is already out. It's the OLED version, which is coming out in October of this year. Um, it's going to have a long list of exclusives. That's big for a lot of gamers when they have exclusives only. And it also can be it also can be bad for people that have different consoles and don't play certain consoles. But anyways, it's going to have a long list of exclusives, detachable joy detachable joy cons. Detachable joy cons is pretty cool. Um, it's going to have that especially because you know for multiplayer, um, the charging dock of course always comes with it. Um, more battery life is also another good thing, and more affordable than the uh, Steam Deck. So, of course, if I missed any of the cool things that, on either console that's coming out, please let me know in the comments. If I missed something that's a cool thing for the Valve, or if I missed something that's a cool thing for the Switch, let me know in the comments. Other than that, let's flip it over to take a look at the cons, or the bad, when it comes to the Steam Deck and the Switch. Um, again, we'll start with the Steam Deck. Um, one thing about it, again, the con is... It's going to be a $400 console compared to the OLED. Um, it's going to be a $350 console. Now, if you don't really care too much for the price point, I know it's a $50 difference. Not a big deal. That's fine. I was just stating uh, the obvious that it's a $50 difference. So for some people, it would be like, well, you know, that, that could be a, a con for me because I don't want to spend $50 more on a console or either or. So that could be good or bad, the $50 difference. Um, compared to the Switch, of course, which right now it's at 300 and the OLED version will be 350 um, One of the other things for the Steam Deck that was not a good thing, I didn't think, was the fact that the charging deck or dock will be sold separately um, from this. So I don't know the pricing. I, I, don't, I couldn't really find what a price would be. So if you know the pricing, let me know. Um, also, the battery life is not going to be as good as the Switch's battery life. Um, that's another one of the things that the, that I thought was going to be kind of hard. And another thing that I thought was interesting from what I did research on is it's going to be twice as heavy as a standard Switch. And now, the standard Switch isn't that heavy, but the fact it's going to be a little bit heavier. Do you really want to carry around a handheld that's going to be a lot heavier than, than the Switch that's out right now? That was something else I thought was interesting. Um, also, the controllers are non-detachable on the Steam Deck. So that, that can be... Again, that could be good or bad. I mean, I like the fact that you can detach uh, your Joy-Cons and you can just sit on your couch or what have you and just play off the big screen. And with this one, you can't do that. Um, so that, you know, I'm pretty sure as they go down the road with that, they could probably change that up. But that was a con that I've seen with the Steam Deck. Now, with the Nintendo Switch, as we go into the bad things for the Switch or cons, um, it's not as powerful as the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is a lot more powerful um, than the Switch. Um, Switch doesn't have a Bluetooth. Um, it also has um, options for a 32 gigabyte compared to Steam Deck's um, 64, 256, and 512 gigabytes, I believe. I could be wrong in those numbers. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong or not. Um, the original Switch does have a smaller screen with a 6.2 inch screen. And of course, the OLED version of the Switch will have a 7 inch screen. So you can see there with the Steam Deck, they were trying to go bigger compared to the original Switch, but OLED was also wanting to, or the Switch for the OLED console coming up. It's not a big difference. Um, but they are both going to be 7-inch screens, so that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, guys, that's all I've got for the pros and cons. Let me know in the comments if there's something I miss on the good or the bad. 
And um, if I did, just put it in there so people that watch this video can see some of the things I missed. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to be traveling down again to the classic Game Fest this weekend. This Saturday, we'll be in Austin, Texas. If you see us down there, say hello. We've got stickers and stuff. We love to hang out and, and hand out and give out and have a lot of fun. We'll, we like to post pictures of us with people that we meet. And, and you know, we're going to be game hunting, game hunting, game hunting, shopping. I've got a few items I'm going to be taking down that I'm going to be uh, looking to trade with vendors and uh, get some fun stuff as well. But we're also going to be heading to the Cowtown Comic Con this Sunday, which is going to be in Hearst, Texas. So it's going to be a very, very busy weekend for the Funhouse team. We're very excited to go to a Comic Con, go to a gaming event. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have, a, we're just going to have a blast. We're, the whole team's coming out. And um, guys, again, enough blabbering. That was the pros and cons, goods and bads of the Valve Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch. You let us know which one you're going to get, either, both, or none. Till next time, this has been Retro Funhouse. Join the Funhouse. See you next time.